Hello everyone, welcome to Shreya. Uh, summers are here and uh, as you all know tea and coffee are not preferred beverages anymore in this heat uh, for the family members as well as for any guests who come home. So what do we do? Uh, we, the next thing we think about is cool drinks. Before I get into that topic, I want to tell you all something. When uh, my clients come, most of them come for weight loss and some of them are diabetic. When I ask them what do you do, what are the steps you are taking to not put on weight, the first thing they say is we have cut down on sugar uh, in our tea and coffee. We are taking only one fourth teaspoon or maximum of half a teaspoon. Uh, now just keep this in mind. Now let's go back to cool drinks. What options do we have? Uh, so I've got all these drinks from outside. All of them are from outside. I'm not going to talk about any brands, not take any uh, name of any brand. So if you look at them, you know obviously what I'm talking about. So this is about 250 ml. Now, do you think you can uh, drink this in one sitting? Of course you can drink. You can drink more than this. So this is another uh, drink. This is a fruit juice in which uh, sugar is added. Now if you look at this, this is 300 ml and this is 250 ml. Can you drink 300 ml in one sitting? Of course you can. And this is a fruit based beverage. A lot of mothers when it comes to children especially, they think uh, instead of fizzy drinks, let's give fruit based beverage. Are they any better? Not really. Uh, the amount of fruit in this is very less. You might as well eat a fruit if you are really thinking of getting some fruit into your uh, body or into your children's system. Now, when you look at this, how much sugar is there in each of these glasses? I'll show you how much. Most of them have about 10 to 13 percent of sugar. Now, this is how much sugar each of these glasses have. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. About 5 teaspoons of sugar. If you drink one of these glasses, your almost 4 days quota of sugar is done uh, in tea and coffee. So here we are uh, rationing the amount of sugar we are putting in, in our tea and coffee. Then we drink one glass of this beverage and it's done whether it's this 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 and actually in fruit based beverage and in fruit juices in which added sugar is clearly written on the pack the amount of sugar added is actually more here it is five teaspoons and in these two it can go up to even eight teaspoons so what do we do many of my clients and other people uh, tell me like you always say don't uh, eat this, don't drink this, then what is the point? It's just one life. Of course it is one life. We can't do much about it. But what I feel is the knowledge or the information should be given and it's individual's decision whether they still want to take it or not. We should not go about drinking something or eating something not knowing about it. That's all. So. Once the information is with you, if you still want to drink them and take that much sugar, do some exercise, burn it out or cut down sugar somewhere else. Now, one more thing about this is, when you drink 250 ml or 300 ml of this, you get only sugar out of it. That is pure calories, nothing else. Suppose you uh, take buttermilk or uh, homemade lime juice. First thing is you get some amount of vitamins and minerals, you get some calcium and also you know how much sugar you are adding to it. Definitely you don't add 5 teaspoons of sugar in one tumbler of uh, buttermilk or even lime juice. So when you get things from outside that is the point that we don't know what is inside it. And these days whether it's school going kid, teenager or uh, an aunt, my aunt, they all like these drinks. So drink, I am not saying don't drink, but know what you are putting into your body. That's all it is, like the information is given to you, you make the decision. Thank you.